Is the gender pay gap real? No. Why not? Because women choose jobs which are generally lower paying because they choose jobs they're more passionate about and interested in. And funnily enough, when you're interested in a job, it's probably not as hard as a job you're not interested in. If you're only gonna do things you're interested in, they're gonna be entertaining, and if they're entertaining, they're not gonna pay you very much. I believe if the gender pay gap was real in the world we currently live in, as competitive as it is, there would be companies which only hire women because it would save a whole bunch of money. And you don't get that. I don't, I've seen this, argue, I've seen this subject argued at length. I haven't had a job in so many years, I don't know. I know that if you ask the average woman, they certainly do believe in the gender pay gap, but my views are that one, women choose jobs they're more passionate about, which tend to be lower paying, because you only pay somebody a bunch of money because they're doing something they basically don't want to do. That's the first thing. Uh, I believe that, like I said, if a company wanted to be competitive, it would only hire women. And I also believe that there's a lot of legislation that protects and makes sure that people are treated pretty fairly. And I don't think that women give up their whole lives for a job like a lot of men do. I think the reason a lot of men are CEOs is one, because yes, there's an argument that men have an evolutionary instinct to lead and perhaps are better pre, uh, predispositioned to lead because we're more emotionally stable. There is that argument. But truthfully, I know men like me who give up our entire lives to work. All we do is work. If we're awake, we work. That's all we do. I don't know a single woman like that. She sees the kids, she sees her friends. They're more emotionally rounded than us. They're more stable than us. They're probably a lot fucking happier. And they don't want to give up their entire existence to work. Why should they? I don't blame them, but that means they're not competitive. So if you're a company and you're trying to choose the best possible worker and you have a man who gives up his entire life to work and you have a woman who's had a few kids, wants to see her kids, do the school run, bake cakes, da -da -da, then she can't compete. So I don't think it's about gender. I think it's just about the amount of time invested in doing the actual job. Mm. Could you argue, for example, professional football, like women and men, they might put similar time in? Why is there such a disparity there with what they earn? I can absolutely argue that. Yeah. Do you know why women footballers get paid so little? No. I'll tell you why. Well, I've, I'm asking you. I'm, I'm not being interviewed. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because women don't fucking support them. Men, male footballers get paid so much because men go and watch the male football. Women footballers get paid so little because women don't go and watch it. So blame the other chicks. That is a female problem. It's nothing to do with us. The reason that female footballers or female sports stars get paid less than male sports stars is because nobody wants to fucking watch. Because nobody cares. Now, it's not women who are supporting the male sports stars. It's men. So if your own gender has betrayed you, don't turn at us and say we were the problem. Don't turn to the patriarchy. No, it's not the patriarchy. It's your fellow females who have zero interest in watching you run around and kick a ball in the net. That's why nobody pays you anything because nobody wants to fucking see it. Call it supply and demand. If nobody wants to watch it, nobody's gonna fucking pay for it. So my argument there is very, very simple. No, the gender pay gap cannot be applied to sports because females have betrayed their own gender absolutely. So to sit there and try and blame men is asinine. So are you saying if there was equal support, there'd be equal demand, and as there would be equal demand, there would be equal pay? There'd be equal TV rights, there'd be mm. equal gates, gate sales, sponsorships. equal sponsorships, equal, equal ticket sales, equal merchandise, equal everything. How can it be equal when nobody buys shit related? Mm. What kind of stupid mindset is that? And this is what I'll say, gender pay gap, oh, I play football, but nobody watches you play football. That's like me playing guitar in a room by myself and asking why I'm not paid the same as Bruce Springsteen. Because <laughs> nobody comes to my concerts. I'm on my own. <laughs> I'm sitting there staring at a wall like a dummy. If you're going to go kick a ball around and nobody wants to see it, then don't complain when nobody wants to pay, pay you. Nobody wants to see it. Not my fault nobody wants to see it. I don't want to see it. Do you want to see it? Tell the truth. How many, football, how many female football games have you watched in the last six months? Tell the truth. The um, Euro Cup final, that's it. And England won that. So one. Okay, one. Not bad. But yeah. well, well, me, it's a firm fucking zero. <laughs> and for most, it's a firm zero. Tough luck. That's life. However, let's flip it before I get called a misogynist. If you were to have a beauty pageant, the women get paid more than the men. Does anyone ever complain about that? No. But more men. Top 10 OnlyFans earners are all women. All women. So there's a whole bunch of industries where women can dominate. And there's a huge gender pay gap. Nobody complains about that. They only complain when it's the other way around. So they ignore mm. half the argument, create a false paradigm, live inside the matrix, slave mind, ignore the truth. But the truth is there's places where women get paid so much more than men. And we don't complain about it because people want to see the women. But if people want to see the men, that's basic economics. Anybody who cannot possibly understand that is a lost soul. Mm. Have you ever taken steroids? Good question. 
and I want to say this on camera adamantly, and I want to say this straight to camera because if anyone ever finds out I'm lying, they'll crucify me. So that's why I'm going to say it this way. I swear on the memory of my father, I have never once in my life ever taken a steroid, ever. Not now, not ever. I'm not on TRT. I'm not on any kind of pills. I do not take creatine. I do not even drink protein shakes. I'm on zero steroids. Perhaps I'm genetically gifted. Perhaps I'm God's favorite, but I'm in fantastic shape. I smoke cigars. I eat meat. And I drink a lot of coffee. And I do train every day, of course, as long as I'm supposed to, but I have never taken steroids, ever, ever. And even when they're talking about me fighting Logan Paul, he's a massive steroid head. I have that from inside information. People close to him have told me he's on lots of steroids. He'd have to piss in a cup before I consider destroying him because he takes loads of steroids. If I took steroids, I'd be an animal. I'd be huge. But I do not take steroids because I don't need them. So no, the answer is absolutely no. However, true Jordy can keep taking his steroids. I'll still beat the fuck out of him. I'm not going to give him an excuse. You don't have to piss in a cup, my friend. You just have to turn up. <laughs> fuck him. The time will come. God's retribution is swift and surprising. The time will come where he pays the price. Hey, before you go, if you want to watch the full uncut interview with Andrew Tate, no holes barred like you've never seen before, you can watch it here. And before you go, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.